The newest VTube Studio update just dropped, and with it comes the introduction of VNet. With VNet, you can connect with up to three friends through your Steam friend list, and allows you to collab in real time using your live 2D models. That's right, no more blurry OBS ninja, and the solutions of the past are gone. We are here in the future. It also allows for some other fun interactions, such as using items with each other in real time, as well as pinning your friends to each other. So in today's video, I'm going to be quickly going over how to get this set up and a few other bits that you might want to know about using the new system. So here we are in VTube Studio, and you may notice that a brand new button has appeared on the settings menu. Right at the bottom here, we have this new hosting button, as well as the collab session button. First thing we're going to do is click this big button here, and it's going to pop up with this new window here. There's a little information here, as well as the info about how to set it up, but I'm going to be showing you in this video. So you should see this new window popping up with a menu on the right hand side here. I'm going to be going through all of the information that is on here. An important thing to note about this new feature is that it is technically a paid DLC. The usual price is 20 USD, however it is 15% off as an introductory offer currently. So if you're interested in this feature, I would recommend grabbing it now. However, you can demo this feature for 10 minutes per session. So let's go over this menu real quick. So we have a button at the top here which says join and host. To start off with, I'm going to be testing out hosting a session. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button over to host. And you'll see that the menu will change a little bit. So I am now the host of this current session. Next, you are going to see a box saying password as well as nickname. I would recommend picking a nickname that doesn't include any personal information. So you can make it your VTuber's name, for example, just in case, because these menus may show up on stream. I would recommend setting up Spout2 Capture if you haven't already. This can save your CPU as well as not showing any of these menus on stream. So you do not have the risk of leaking any personal information from Steam this way. Please be aware that when you're setting a password, it must include one uppercase letter as well as lowercase letters and a number. Next, you're going to see this guest list. So this is how you invite people to your session. And like I said, you can invite up to three friends to join you. This will exclusively be from your Steam friends list. Since this system uses the Steam peer-to-peer -peer network, it requires you to be friends on Steam. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus button here. So this is going to go ahead and open up your Steam friends list. I do have this blurred because obvious reasons. But we're going to go ahead and invite a couple of friends to join us in this session here. So once you've added your friends to the guest list, they will also need to join through the menu. I will be showing you how to do that right after this. Next, we're going to see the file server region. This should be whichever one is closest to your location. So for example, we have Western North America, Eastern, Europe, and in Asia. So whichever of these is closest to your current location, just select that. And for the host, we also have data FPS. Now this completely depends on your internet connection speed, but the higher the number, the faster data is transferred over the network. So faster, smoother animation. And finally, we're going to click to host. So you will get a security pop-up before you go ahead. This is to let you know that any of the models and items you have loaded will be available to whoever you have listed on your guest list. This is a security measure just in case you don't want to have anything, you know, sussy showing up on stream, for example, um, and make sure that everyone is ready to go. Let's go ahead and accept here. After your friends have all joined, you can go ahead and return from this window at the bottom right here, and you should see your friends on stream. Oh, look at them schmoovin! Now this is all done in real time, so if I move ye myself around, they'll see me moving on their screen. And if they move around, 
you can see that they're moving on my screen. So there are a few controls to bear in mind with the collab. If you right click and drag, that will cause your model to move around the screen, as well as place you on top of all other models. Go ahead and try that out. Whilst if you click and drag with the right mouse button, this won't allow you to place yourself on top so you can position yourself without causing the overlay to change. So this also allows you to see item changes in real time. As you can see, someone is being head pat right over there and I have a cola on my head. So this allows for a few more fun interactions. I will quickly explain this small button here, the collab control. So it's going to pop up with this window on the right here and you're going to see your participants and there's a few options for each of the people. So you're going to see you control position, show model and show items. So if for example you don't want anyone to have any items on screen during your stream, you can turn off show items and it will stop any items on those people's models from showing on your screen as well as completely uh, removing your friends from view. You know, just in case you want to be alone. There is also the option to control the position of your collab partners. So if we click this, it's going to put him in the middle here and we can now position him wherever we want. This basically turns your friend into a live GD item. So you can also pin your friends to your face, you know, just in case you ever wanted to do that. Finally, you're going to see this buffering in seconds. If you notice that anyone is having any lag issues, for example, their movement is stuttering, do just turn this up to whatever number it requires. Just keep increasing it until you notice that it has smoothened them out a bit. If your friends have a decent connection, this shouldn't be an issue. And then finally, when you want to finish your collab, you simply just press quit collab and then it will end the session. So what if you want to join a collab? Well, we simply go to the join menu on the same thing. Make sure it's toggled on to join. Next, you'll need to ask the host for the password. And as always, make sure to set your username. Next, you'll want to set the host on the guest list. So you're going to find them on your friends list and add them to this top one. Once your friend has set up the host, all you need to do is click to join. This is going to connect to the internet, go through the security measures once again. Give it a second to connect. And once we return, we should have joined the room. As a participant of a collab, you can leave at any time. All we need to do is open up that small menu again and click to leave the collab. If you leave as a participant, it will not close the session for the host. So if, for example, you're in the middle of a collab and need to leave early, leaving the session will not affect the other participants. And that is how to easily set up a collab between three other people through VNet. VTube Studio's new update. If you found today's video helpful, I would greatly appreciate if you would leave a like on the video. If you have any questions, then please do leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informational videos about VTube Studio, Live 2D and VTubing. Thank you very much, have a wonderful day and bye bye